Toledo BizConnect TV proudly presents this episode of Etiquette Essentials with Jill Marie with your host, certified image and etiquette consultant, Jill Marie Zachman. Hello, I'm Jill Marie and welcome to Etiquette Essentials with Jill Marie. The month of November ushers in the holiday season and with it a flurry of activities and added responsibilities. This may be your year to purchase the boss's Christmas gift, or perhaps you've got the large task of sending all of the Christmas cards to clients and business associates. Perhaps you've been nominated to orchestrate the office party or the corporate Christmas dinner. And then you have your social lives as well. And you may have to pencil in little Johnny's Christmas pageant, or you've been volunteered to cut out, bake, and decorate the three dozen Christmas cookies for the Girl Scout troop. Even right now, you may be writing your list and checking it twice because this year it is your turn to host the Thanksgiving family get together and you don't want to forget any of the trimmings. Well, you may be asking, Jill Marie, what does all of this have to do with etiquette? And by the way, thanks for reminding me what I have to look forward to. Well, let me answer that by asking you this question. Have you noticed that as we get closer to the holiday season, people become ruder, more impatient, inconsiderate, stressed, and rushed, and they take it out on you? That's bad manners. Within the next several training videotapes, I am going to address some topics that you will need to know about as we enter into the holiday season. Topics such as what is an appropriate gift to give your boss, because not all gifts are appropriate. How to set a beautiful Thanksgiving table that communicates a warm and welcoming atmosphere? Or how much is an appropriate tip to give to the waitress that has been serving you at your network meetings for the past year? But today, right now, we are going to talk about one of the first things that you're going to need to do if you are having an office open house where you are inviting clients and associates or even if you are having a social event at your own home and an invitation is going to need to be sent. Invitations during the holiday season should be sent out at least three weeks in advance. The reason being, as you know, people's schedules get filled up much faster during this time of the year. In your invitation, you will want to give as much information to those you are inviting as possible, such as, is the event an open house? And if so, what time does it begin and what time does it end? Is it more of a structured, formal affair where you are invited at 6, a sit-down dinner will be served at 6.30 and it will, it will end by 9? Or is it just after hours for appetizers and drinks and come as you want? Is it a formal event that people need to dress up for? This oftentimes is communicated in the formality of the invitation. And then, do you want your guests to RSVP to let you know if they are coming? And if so, you'll want to have contact information down. Is it okay to send an email invitation? Well, people do it, but I don't recommend it because first of all, an email invitation communicates a casualness, a casualness and a very informality about, about the event. Also, an email invitation is easily lost or forgot about where a handwritten or a computerized invitation, it's a hard copy that people will set on their desk and they will look at it and it will be a, a reminder that you have a special event that you want them to attend. I would like to encourage you, my viewers, if you have any specific questions that you would like answered during the next 
few training sessions as we talk about etiquette during the holidays, please send me an email and ask me uh, your question. I'd be happy to answer it. Let me be the first to wish you a happy holiday, and thank you for watching Etiquette Essentials with Jill Marie. Goodbye. Toledo Biz Connect TV thanks you for watching this episode of Etiquette Essentials with Jill Marie Zachman. For more great information, visit Jill Marie's website at www.jill-marie.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Toledo Biz Connect TV.